There was a battle between the Hebrews and the Philistines. The Hebrews were presumptuous. They took the ark into the battle. The Philistines won the battle and took the ark home, and suddenly bad things began to happen all around. So we're going to study today at 1 Samuel 6, verses 10 through 16. Let's hear the story as it continues. Then the men did so. They took two milk cows and hitched them to the cart and shut up their calves at home. And they set the ark of the Lord on the cart in the chest with the gold rats and the images of their tumors. Then the cows headed straight for the road to Beth Shemesh and went along the highway, lowing as they went, and did not turn aside to the right hand or the left. And the lords of the Philistines went after them to the border of Beth Shemesh. Now the people of Beth Shemesh were reaping their wheat harvest in the valley, and they lifted their eyes and saw the ark and rejoiced to see it. Then the cart came into the field of Joshua of Beth Shemesh and stood there. A large stone was there, so they split the wood of the cart and offered the cows as a burnt offering to the Lord. The Levites took down the ark of the Lord and the chest that was with it, in which were the articles of gold, and put them on the large stone. Then the men of Beth Shemesh offered burnt offerings and made sacrifices the same day to the Lord. So when the five lords of the Philistines had seen it, they returned to Ekron the same day. The five lords of the Philistines and the cows and the golden tumors and the golden rats and most of all the, the ark of God come rolling down the road back to Israel and the ark is returned. So when God's people see it, they rejoice and they make offerings and so on. And then that was interesting to me, the five lords of the Philistines, they went all the way. They saw that it had gone back. They could go back and report to their people, we've returned the ark uh, sacrifices have been made. They received our gift of the golden, the golden tumors and, and the golden rats, and we've we've come back home here. The ark is no longer in Philistia. That was that was the important. Uh, that was kind of you know the 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 take home point. They wanted to make sure they could go back and report to their people. The ark is not in our territory at all anymore. Again, I like how the Philistines. Uh, immediately. This was in their land only for a period of months. They made the golden images rather quickly. Uh, it appears they, they put them in the box. They made the golden rats and so on. They took the ark and put it in the cart. They got the cows. Boom, they're down the road. They're on the way. And they escorted this all the way back to the land of Israel. Made sure that it all got handled, and then they went back home. I like the attention to detail when things get severe and people around you start dying and you find out you've disrespected the God of heaven and earth, the God who uh, sort of taught some lessons to the Egyptians, when you find out you've been doing that, it's wise to do exactly what these lords of the Philistines did and the, and the Philistinian people is to back up, take a deep breath, put your stuff in order, respectfully return God's stuff where he wants it to be, and very quietly step out of the picture. That's exactly what they're trying to do. Lessons for us, lessons for us. We are so loud and rowdy and disrespectful and we, we treat God's stuff as if it's, it's just, there's no respect due him or do it at all. We can learn from the Philistines. Right now, let's pause and pray. Dear Father in heaven, Thank you that although Israel, it looked in Israel like everything was lost and it looked like the Philistines had triumphed, and yet, Lord, you were working all this time, could have destroyed the whole nation, Philistian nation, but no, Lord, you quietly, step by step, educated them so they would understand they were in a wrong place and they turned and returned to you, your ark, by returning it to your people. Lord, help us, help us to have a follow through to know what your things are, to know how to be respectful as we touch and use your things. We are very distractible people. There could be a big issue, a big issue about conscience or something going on, and boom, we see a squirrel and we look the other way. We just, we're just very distractible. Help us, Lord. Give us focus and give us clarity to know your mission for us in this, in this remarkable hour we are in. Thank you for hearing our prayer. In Jesus' name we ask. Amen. So friends, let's let God help us be focused and do follow through and do his things with care and respect, proper respect, and his blessing will come.